I've been in the process of installing Windows on this computer, which I'm really excited to have a review out on here, hopefully by the end of the year, because it's one of the most interesting computers I've ever had a chance to display here on the channel. Anyway, in the process of getting it going, I was once again reminded of the infamous cursor glitch that is inherent with every copy of Windows 7. On August 15th, 2009, just one month after Windows 7's official release to manufacturing, a report was uploaded to the Windows 7 Task Force outlining a strange bug that causes the animation of the busy cursor to stutter as the wave passes the 11 o'clock position. That same day, a gentleman by the name of Long Zhang of the I Started Something blog confirmed this and posted a write-up explaining the nature of the situation along with some JavaScript for folks to test it firsthand. Two days later, this article caught the attention of Leo Davidson, who posted a comment covering the exact technical details of the problem. Following that, he did a full write-up on the Pretentious Name blog and provided a download for a corrected version of the file. If you want to read the full backstory on exactly what went wrong, check out the video description for a link to these articles, but for now, in the interest of time, we're just going to continue on with the fix. Once you've downloaded the zip file with the fixed animations, you can extract them anywhere, but I recommend copying them to the default cursors folder so that they're with the rest of the cursors. Open the Mouse Properties screen and head on over to the Pointers tab. The glitch affects both the standard size cursor scheme and the large one, but not the extra large. I'll start with the standard one since that's the default in Windows 7. Click the Busy cursor and observe the preview animation in slow-mo where it makes the glitch painfully obvious. This is the last time you'll ever have to see that. Hit Browse and choose the Win7 Fixed Arrow Busy file that we extracted earlier. Use the Save As feature to permanently save the fixed cursor scheme. Now to fix the large cursor file, choose it from the drop down menu at the top of the screen and repeat the process, this time making sure to select the Win7 Fixed Arrow Busy L file instead of the one we used before. From there, it should be all set. You can use the preview window in the properties dialog or the yellow box in the post on the I Started Something blog to manually invoke the cursor to test it for yourself. For those of you who might be keeping score at home, this bug is, strangely enough, not found in any other version of Windows to date, at least as far as I can tell. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed this fun little tutorial and I hope you'll join me for the next one. Thanks for watching.